Hey guys, welcome to Curated Milieu. I'm Arunima and you are watching episode 4 of 2 Minutes Trivia. In this episode, we are going to discuss the nature's own favorite Fibonacci sequence and the fact that Fibonacci predates Fibonacci and this has nothing to do with time travel. So let's get started. Born in 1170 AD in Pisa, Leonardo Pisano Bigolo, also nicknamed as Fibonacci since he was son of Bonacci, travelled with his father, who was an Italian merchant, to various Mediterranean countries. But it was in Butia, modern-day Algeria, that he got educated and learnt about the Hindu-Arabic or the Indo-Arabic numeral system, which was invented by Indian mathematicians between the 1st and the 4th century AD and later, like many other subjects, adopted by the Arabic mathematicians in the 9th century. Fibonacci is credited with writing various mathematical manuscripts of which Liber Abbasi, Book of Abacus or Book of Calculation, is one of the most well-known. In addition to referring to Indo-Arabic numbers, which later replaced the Roman numerals, Liber Abbasi also includes a large collection of problems addressed to merchants concerning product prices, calculation of business profits, currency conversion, etc. But one of the most interesting problems that the book contains involves growth of a population of rabbits. Yes, how many pairs of rabbits will be born in a year? Starting from a single pair, if each month each pair gives birth to a new pair, which becomes reproductive from the second month. And the solution to this problem is the famous Fibonacci sequence, wherein each number in the series is the sum of the previous two. Another important characteristic of this sequence is the fact that the ratio between any number and the previous one in the series tends towards a well-defined value, also called the golden ratio or golden section phi, which is an irrational number with a value of 1.6180339 and so on. This golden rule occurs surprisingly often in nature. For instance, in the spiral shape of a snail, arrangement of petals in flowers, position of the seeds in the sunflower head, bark of the pineapple or pine cone, the double helix structure of the DNA spiral, and even in the natural expansion of billions of galaxies, the list is unending. Their appearance is so fascinating that an entire journal is dedicated to it in the Fibonacci quarterly. And now let's come to the real trivia. Although Fibonacci's Liber Abbasi contains the earliest known description of the sequence outside of India, the sequence had been described by Indian mathematicians in as early as 5th century BC, which is 2500 years ago, in the form of Pingala Chanda Shastra in Sanskrit. Later in the 5th century AD, the Indian astronomer mathematician Varah Mihir had used the same sequence in his work related to binomial coefficients. While Pingal and Varah Mihir had used the number series for their respective fields, one of the most comprehensive commentary on it applying it to various other fields was later done by a Hindu Jain scholar named Acharya Hemchandra in the 12th century AD. Documentary evidence show that Acharya Hemchandra had compiled his treatise in 1150 AD, whereas Leonardo Fibonacci had presented his thesis only in 1202 AD, which looked identical to that of the commentary made by Hemchandra. Which proves that the number series presented by the Indian scholar Hemchandra had preceded that of Leonardo Fibonacci by more than half a century. And thanks to the awareness spread by Indian scientists, many in the global mathematicians and scientist community have started acknowledging this and are giving credit where it is due by mentioning the sequence as Hemchandra Fibonacci numbers. And this brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Please let me know your feedback in the comment section below. We will soon be coming up with more trivia videos. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.